Bukeo Ioyinka Saka was born on 5 September 2001, in Ealing, Greater London, England to a Yoruba parent, his father Yomi Saka and his mother Adenaiki Saka. Saka attended Edward Betham Church of England Primary School before he proceeded to Greenford High School, where he obtained high grades in his GCSEs, achieving 4A asterisk and 3 as. He started playing youth football for the local club Greenford Celtic. Saka later joined the Watford youth team before he moved to join Arsenal's Hale End Academy at the age of 7. At 17, Saka was promoted to the U23 team and handed his first professional contract. During his period playing for the U23, he was called upon to represent England on numerous occasions for the U16, U17, U18, U19 and U21 making a total of 27 appearances for all the sides and scoring just six goals. Upon being given a professional contract, he was handed a senior team debut by Unai Emery in the Europa League second leg away fixture versus Orskla Poltava, coming on as a substitute for Aaron Ramsey in the 68th minute of the game. A few weeks later, he was handed his first full home debut in front of Arsenal fans in the Europa League match versus Karabag. Saka waited till the next year before he was handed his Premier League debut in a 4-1 vs Fulham coming on as a substitute for Alex Iwobi in the 83rd minute of the game. Then he became the first player born in the 21st century to play a Premier League match. However, Saka keeps waiting for his first Premier League goal. While doing that, he keeps impressing the manager with his versatility, dribbling and chance creation skills. He ended the season as runner-up in the Europa League to London rival Chelsea, a match in which his side lost 4-1. His wait for his first goal for the side ended on 19 September following a beautiful curler from a long range into the corner away to Frankfurt in the Europa League. He ended that match with two more assists to his name. His excellent performance in the Europa League was rewarded with a start in the next game versus Aston Villa in the Premier his first Premier League start for the side. Saka's performance kept impressing the manager, which then saw him become the talk of the media. The following week he assisted Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the equaliser in a 1-1 draw against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Following injuries to the club's two left-backs, Kieran Tierney and Seed Kolasinac, his versatility once speaks for him as he was called upon to replace the injured players, and his performance saw him establish himself as a regular starter for the side. He scored the opening goal in a 2-1 victory over Bournemouth in the FA Cup fourth round and finished the match assisting Edin Kedia for a second goal. BBC Sports later voted his goal against Bournemouth as the goal of the round. He continued his incredible performance and was able to register a double-figure assist in his first full season with the senior team. His excellent performance saw him retain his place in the starting lineup even after the return of the two injured left back though as a wing forward. Following the departure of the club head coach Unai Emery, former club captain and Manchester City assistant manager Mikel Arteta was announced as the new head coach. Following the new head coach's arrival, Saka was offered a new long-term contract. Mikel praised Saka in an interview. When asked why he was handed a long-term contract, he replied saying, I think he represents every value that this football club stands for. He has come through the academy and earned his respect with hard work and accountability, and you can see the progression that he is having as a player and a person. He scored his first Premier League goal for the side with a half-volley beating Roy Patricio in a 2-0 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers. He finished that season voted third on the list of the Arsenal Player of the Season and also won his first silverware for the side, although he was an unused substitute in a 2-1 win over London rival Chelsea in the FA Cup Final. He started the new season with another silverware winning the FA Community Shield against the Premier League champions for the 2019-2020 season. The match eventually ended with a 1-1 draw, but his side won 5-4 in a penalty shootout. His incredible performance saw him called up to the England national team for the first time in October 2020. 
He was handed his debut eight days later in a 3-0 friendly win over Wales. However, having represented the side in four matches, he's automatically tied to the side and can't represent his father's country Nigeria. His exceptional performance in December 2020, including his Boxing Day goal versus London rival Chelsea in a 3-1 home win, saw him voted the club's best player of the month, an award which he won the following month after scoring three times and providing one assist in six matches for the club in the month. His goal against West Bromwich Albion was voted second on the list of the club's best goal of the month. He went on to clinch the award in February, which he won three times consecutively. He made his 50th Premier League appearance for the side on the 6th of March 2021 against Burnley. Although the match ended in a 1-1 draw, the appearance saw him the second youngest player in the club's history after Cesc Fabregas to reach that milestone. He further went on to score in a 4-0 win over Slavia Prague in the Europa League quarterfinal. His performance that week in Europa League saw him voted the Europa League Player of the Week. He ended that season scoring 7 goals and 7 assists in 46 appearances across all competitions he featured for the side. He was also voted the club's best player of the season, having previously finished third in the last year's voting. His performance that season was also rewarded with a shortlist for the PFA Player of the Season, which Manchester City midfielder Phil Foden eventually won. To cap the season, he was selected for the IFFHS Men's Youth U20, World Team. On the 1st of June 2021, Bukeo was named by England's head coach, Gareth Southgate. In the 26-man squad for the Euro 2020, a day later, he scored his first goal for his country and the only goal of the match in a 1-0 friendly win over Austria. He was handed his first start for the side in Euros against the Czech Republic in the final match of the group stage. He ended the game and was voted the man of the match. He was introduced in the final of the tournament against Italy as a substitute replacing Kieran Trippier. The match ended in a fruitless draw both in full time and extra time. He was then chosen to play the fifth penalty for his side, his first penalty taken for the national team. However, his effort was saved by the Italian goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma. Italy eventually won the shootout and the tournament. Following his penalty loss, he was racially abused by the English fans on social media, which led to him publicly addressing the issue on his Instagram page just a few days after the final was played stating that, he knew instantly the kind of hate he was going to receive after his penalty was saved, adding, and that is a sad reality that your powerful platforms, Instagram, are not doing enough to stop these messages. He started the new campaign with a goal in the 6-0 EFL Cup win over West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns, he further went on to score his first Premier League goal of the season against North London and Premier League rival Tottenham Hotspurs in a 3-1 win at the Emirates Stadium. He ended the match assisting fellow Hale and graduate Emil Smith Rowe for the first goal of the day. A few weeks later, he made his 100th appearance on the North London side, gracing the occasion with an assist in a 2 0 win over Leicester City. He further went on to score his first brace in a 5 0 away win to Norwich at Carroll Road following the goal. He became the second youngest player after Nicholas Anelka to score 10 EPL goals for the side. Arsenal finished fifth that season, falling out of the Champions League spot with just a point behind rival Tottenham. However, Saka finished the season as the club's top goalscorer with 12 goals across all competitions, he was also nominated for the Premier League Player of the Season, Premier League Young Player of the Season, PFA Young Player of the Year and the Golden Boy Award of the Year, the only EPL player on the list, where he eventually finished 8 on the list. Aside from that, he has voted again the Arsenal Player of the Season, which saw him become the only player to retain the award since club legend Thierry Henry in the 2003 and 2004 seasons and also voted the England Men Player of the Year ahead of the team captain Harry Kane and Declan Rice becoming the first Arsenal to be honoured with such. He continued his impressive form in the new season, 
which most football fans tagged as the rise of Arsenal, helping the side stay on top of the Premier League with five points clear of former champions Manchester City and also top of their UEL group, having lost just one game in the group. Currently, he scored five times and provided six assists in 20 appearances across all competitions for the side going into the World Cup break. His excellent performance for the club saw him named in the Gareth Southgate England 26-man squad for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Busei Osaka is an extremely talented young player who has a very bright future ahead of him. He has already shown great potential at Arsenal and is definitely one to watch in the future.